Do you ever feel like running in circles, unending circles, juggling things in your life, trying to get balance? Are you struggling to find time for yourself while at the same time take care of family, success, career, business, all of it at the same time? Physical health, mental health, spiritual health, emotional health. You're not alone. Welcome to the club. In this video, I'm going to give you a powerful but very simple tool to help you manage your time and energy so that you can get out of that circle and finally experience a happy, fulfilled life. It's called the Wheel of Life. It's a very common tool used in many areas of businesses and self-development. Today, I'm excited to share with you all that I know about this Wheel of Life tool. So if you really wanna learn how to have a fulfilled life, this video is for you. I hope you enjoy it, let's go. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, the Wheel of Life is a concept Even like a circle slow, divided in many different areas that represents your life. And your life is composed of your physical health, mental health, work, career, family, leisure, friends, all of it combined. And the goal of the two Wheel of Life is to help you find the perfect dynamic between all of these areas so you can live a very fulfilled life. So here we go, the Wheel of Life. What is it for? In this big circle that is composed with all of the areas of your life, mainly these three areas, love life, success life, and legacy life. And within each of these categories are the small categories. So the goal of the exercise is to rate each area of your life from zero to 10, zero being very bad, not really satisfied, 10 being super fulfilled, totally happy. And as you make this assessment, you will find the areas that you lack attention and the areas that you're really good at. And then you can tweak a few things so you can find the perfect dynamic. Notice, I'm not talking about balance. I'm talking about dynamic. And there is a reason why. I don't like the idea of balance because balance implies that there is a scale. And one side of the scale, there is one area of your life. And on the other side of the scale, another area of your life. Trying to weigh them down, it's like they're fighting against each other. And our life is a whole life. We don't have just our personal lives or just our professional life or just our leisure life. It's one thing. So I would rather look at the wheel of life as a tool to help me find fulfillment. Like Dan Cole says, the secret of life is not balance, it's contrast. You can use this analogy to help you understand even further the concept of the wheel of life. Imagine the wheel of life as a tire in your car. If one tire gets flat for some reason, all of the performance throughout the car, in the engine, electric, everything could suffer. Why? Because there is one tire that's running flat. So the goal is to fix that little part. It's not the whole car, just that little part. And if we fix that little part, the tire, the wheel of life, one of the areas, we'll be able to find the perfect dynamic so the car, your life, can run smoothly and get to the final destination that you have set to get. Some of your wheels, they look like this. Some of your wheels look like this. And some of your wheels, to be honest, are perfectly fine. That's great. Keep watching, leave a comment down below so you can let us know how you have achieved that. But for the majority of people, 99.9% .9 of the people in the world, we could all use a little bit of help here. So we're gonna use one of our methods to build this wheel of life in each one of these areas. The method is a method that I came up with. It's called ACA, analyze, conclude, and act. You're gonna make an analysis, a deep analysis when you write down, and this is why it's important for you to write it down. Don't do it on the computer, don't do it on your phone. Make a big, make time in your life to do the drawing, take time, be patient, write everything down, bad and good, and then grade from zero to 10. Once you've analyzed each area, personal life, job, career, business, leisure, friends, partner, kids, parenting, legacy, all of that. Once you've analyzed it from zero to 10, you, you, you come to a conclusion. And the conclusion is, do I change it or do I leave it? There is a concept in sports that says this, if your team is winning, don't change it. The wheel of life is about the ordinary things, the things that you do every day. There is no magic formula here, right? If you're gonna change it, you're gonna take the steps towards it. And if you're gonna leave it, move on to the next. And once you have made a conclusion, if you're gonna change it, you act. How do you act? You plan. And we're gonna talk more about this. Here's a tip for you to make a decision on leave it or change it. It's called the serenity prayer. You remember the serenity prayer? 
something like that. God, give me the courage to change the things that I can't change. Give me the patience to absorb or to live through the things that I cannot change. And give me wisdom to discern which one is which. So use that prayer as a meditation for you to decide if you're going to leave it or if you're going to change an area of your life. Planning works better when it's written down. I brought one of my journals here. This is just my prayer journal. But I've got many journals like this for different areas of my life. And when you plan, you got to put specific goals. I want to learn the skill. I want to achieve this. I want to get a promotion. Teach this to my kids. In my example, I'm working with basketball with my daughter. And there's so many lessons embedded in there. Granted, I'm addicted to the game. She's addicted, addicted to the game, so that makes it easier. But we've we've made goals. We re we wrote down these plans, so she's aware, I'm aware, and now we work on what we call reverse engineer. You got the final destination, so you just take the steps back. Just trace it back to where you are. After all, you got to know where you start and where you're going. But you also need to remember, you got to be realistic. There is no point in saying save $100,000 if you've never saved anything in your life and you decide to make a, to save $100,000 in a year. Unless you're making a million all of a sudden, you're not going to save $100,000. Being realistic is not being negative. There is a saying by Seneca, the philosopher, that, again, I'm just paraphrasing, but he says, I don't expect bad things to come my way, but I would be a fool to believe that they would never come. Hence, I prepare. It's kind of like we say these days, you know, expect the best, prepare for the worst. That's called reality. Once you've set the goals, you've made the map, you also need to remember to celebrate each win. You got to get used, you got to get in the habit of celebrating winnings. Why? Because at the time that you get to your destination, you need to take time out to celebrate and say, you know what? We've made that plan three years ago. We finally bought the house. Wow. Let's celebrate. I have a personal plan I'm working towards. I published a book called Ikigai, The Guide for Life, Your First Step to a Meaningful Life. I published it in Portuguese, another language. And now my goal is to publish it at the end of the year in English and make this available here where I am in Australia, Europe, America. It's a goal. The last tip, prioritize. I cannot take that sentence out of my mind. Uh, Greg McKeon on the book, Essentialism. If you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. The reality is the vast majority of people in the world are living their lives, fulfilling expectations that other people put on them. Only to get to the end of their lives, look back and regret not having lived a life with purpose and on their own terms. It's very easy to neglect your things when you're trying to juggle a lot of things at the same time it's work and it's bills and it's responsibilities but you have to prioritize and you have to remember if you're sick you cannot help anyone so prioritize your health your family time your emotional health your spiritual health your intellectual health prioritize these things put time in your calendar remember you don't want to go time broke finally you need a support system remember one more quote that's amazing we do not rise to the level of our goals we fall to the level of our systems that is james clear in the book atomic habits it's just amazing what is your system do you have a mentor do you have coaches or a coach or many mentors or friends or just a support system within your family and acquaintances that can keep you accountable for the things that you have decided to do when you make a plan, show it to someone else you can trust and someone else who will vouch for you, someone else who will support you, someone else who will cheer for you. You don't want the negative people in your corner. We already have a lot of negativity coming through TV and all of that. You want the positive people, the people who are going to push you forward. If you don't have a system, you will be part of someone else's system. If you are still watching and you have found value in the things that I've said, consider subscribing to the channel so you can get more or maybe even hitting the like button, dropping a comment down below. There will enrich the conversation and that will give me more material so we can record more videos so you can be more satisfied let's go back to the video let me give you a couple examples before we move forward of how i did that in my life i remember maybe 12 years ago 13 years ago i was working on a telecommunications company it was a good job I was a manager in, uh, I was managing an operation, me and another eight guys throughout the country of New Zealand. So it was a pretty unique job. It was a great job. I was getting well paid. I was working a lot of hours, but I was not fulfilled. So I started a business on the side 
so that I could live my dream. And this is what we do mo in most cases. We will pay to live our dreams. It is very rare to get someone who will live their dreams and be paid to do it from the get-go. Most of us will have to finance and fund our own dreams. That's what I did. I set up a business on the side and then I learned a lot about businesses and it was a great season of my life in New Zealand. That business took off and then it broke and then I learned more and then I changed the jobs and then I found myself doing a mix of things that combined what I used to do for business, what I used to do as my job and my dream calling of life, which is what I'm doing now. When I started that job, yeah, I was working even more. Instead of eight, nine hours, I was working 13, 14, 15 hours a day doing business on the side and calling customers when I got home and making deliveries and all of that. Was I getting tired? Physically, yes. But emotionally, I was ready. Why? Because I was just fine tuning my calling and that fulfilled me a lot. After all, we do what we have to do so we can do what we wanna do. Same thing happened with my mental health side of maybe 15 years ago when I really started getting serious about reading. I wasn't happy with my state of life. I wasn't learning anything. And as you can see, I carry books all, all over. Wherever I go, I carry books. But I wasn't satisfied. I was stuck. I wasn't learning anything. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna start reading. And then I'm just gonna post some reviews and summaries of the books that I read. I started a YouTube channel just doing that. It, it led me right here. I wasn't happy with my state of mental health and development and, and growth. So I decided to do something. I decided to make it accountable to everyone online. And that turned into this beautiful channel where I share my life experiences. And it's amazing to see that 15, 10 years ago, I was making videos clueless. I had no idea about lights, microphones, pace of the videos, YouTube channels. YouTube was just beginning. So I would make videos all over the place, just recording what I thought it would be interesting and today I see big names and people that I look up to and people that have been way more successful when it comes to reaching people on the online platforms doing exactly the same thing that I was doing a decade ago that is inspiring to look at the Gary V's of life and Jay Shetty's and Dan Coles and all of these people doing videos exactly as I used to do a decade ago that is amazing and I'm excited about that that alone fulfills me hey just before we conclude this video let me tell you one more thing very interesting i know some of you will go like i, we, I wish we had more time i wish we had more content i want to go deeper into this thing that you're talking about Pedro, the wheel of life how can i do that well i've created a community on patreon where you can join and right there you can find exclusive content you can find different videos podcast interviews uh, you will have access to discounts and early access to a lot of things that we do like our book launch at the end of the year merchandise there's a whole lot of stuff there and if you want to join us you're going to get all of these benefits for something that's very affordable and you can be intentional about your growth and your development if that's something that interests you the link is down in the description below patreon.com slash pedro on purpose you can join us there it's very affordable i would love to have you as part of our community jump online let's go all right let's go back to the video in conclusion the wheel of life is a powerful yet simple tool that will help you assess and fix the areas of your life that are stealing your time, that are being counter effective to you, so you can have a perfect dynamic. You learn how to prioritize, you learn how to prioritize yourself, you learn what's important to you, and at the end of the day, you will live a very fulfilled life. There is no such a thing as a balanced life. There is just life. And like Dan Cole said, I already said on the video, the secret of life is not balance, it's contrast. There is no such a thing as a balanced life. There is life. You have the choice if your life is going to be fulfilled or miserable. If you want a very fulfilled life, you need the tools. You need to be disciplined. The secret to a happy life is discipline. Here is one of my favorite quotes to finish this video. Your life is a gift from God to you. How you live your life is your gift to God. Here's my question to you. How are you living your life? Just so you don't feel like I haven't given you any extra bonus for this video, here are a couple of tips that I would like to give you when it comes to reading. If you want a really good book that will help you build this idea of growth around the wheel of life, 
I would really recommend The Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's a really good book. I've been talking about this book in the last three or four videos. There is so much in there. Each page is full of gold. It's just gold. Go and get The Atomic Habits book. And if you want to get the book, there's a link down in the description. You can use that link. And using the link, you will help us move this mission even further. And another book that I would like to recommend before you go is this book over here. I brought it with me. I didn't bring the um, Atomic Habits because I already read the one. This book over here, Just One Thing. It's a very underrated book. <laughs> underrated. There's so much gold in this book, man. I love this book and I would love for you to get this book too. Just One Thing. I can't say much about it because that'll be a spoiler because like I said, every chapter is gold in here. But if you want a really good recommendation on building the system around you and, and growing in your self-development and in the areas of your life that you need to focus on and finding your purpose, this is one to keep. Well, that's it. I don't know if you've noticed, but in our channel, we have redone the whole thing. It's almost like we have entered into our house and refurbished, repainted it, renovated it. It's looking different. So everything is different around here. We've got three playlists that I would love for you to check out. These three playlists, they are podcasts. There's there's one, which is the main one, it's called Pedro on Purpose, where I sit down here solo in the studio talking about life experience and the things that I've learned and bringing you value and living my motto, you know, the live, love God and love people, inspire people through the content, add value to their lives every day and empty myself. That's an amazing playlist and every week there is an episode right there, it's a podcast. So you can listen on your YouTube app just for audios and man, it's, it's just amazing. A lot of things are coming out of there. Then there is another the list called gold talks we're working on it but we are interviewing a lot of people talking about life purpose and tools that you can use to help you find and live your purpose in life there is a few talks right there different areas one that i love the most is the enneagram one it's like an hour worth of interviews and it's just amazing talking about the enneagram the personality test and the last one is one that i called faith talks Every now and again, when I feel like it, I, I want to bring a message that will challenge the ideas that we already have, the status quo per se, of our faith and religion and Christianity. I've got some very different ideas, very outside of the curve ideas. So I like sharing that with you. And if you want to check that out, it's there too. There's a few nice videos, really well done videos there for you if you're interested in that kind of stuff. So three playlists three podcasts in the same channel. This is amazing. YouTube is just making it so much easier for us. I wish I had access to these things when I was young, man. This is just amazing, amazing. Well, thanks for watching so far. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, there are many playlists for you to check. They are featured on the channel or you can click on the link to subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed and found value in this. And last but not least, if you really wanna go deeper, we have our Patreon community. Do not forget to check that out thank you so much god bless and i'm out even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran sitting on man i still go go